Half the year is already over. Can you believe that? In this video, I want to tell you about five things that you need to review halfway through the year to see if you're on track to hit those goals. Check it out. It's almost the 4th of July, which means two things. Number one, we're almost to the peak of summer, which is my favorite time of the year. And number two, we're gonna be launching something really exciting for all the entrepreneurs out there who are building it from the ground up. But if you are trying to build something from the ground up or wherever you're at in the process, you should be reviewing where you're at. Five things that I believe you should review halfway through the year, if not more times throughout the year. Number one, your business metrics. Are you on the right path? Are you making the right connections? Are you getting the right leads? And if so, how many of them are you getting? Where are you going for them? How much time are you spending to get those leads? Is your business working? Are you making money? Is your team fulfilling all their duties? Are they working in a way that is congruent with their lives. The metrics that are in place, not just dollars and cents, but the numbers with your whole team. You gotta have to analyze everything when it comes to that. And I believe if you start to look at it, don't just do it at the end of the year. People get into holiday mode and they just don't give a shit. You know, June, July, the peak of summer, you know, you can start to flow and move a little quicker. If you make decisions, make, uh, you know, hypothesis is now and then obviously come December, January, you're able to see if those changes really worked. October is going to be a great buying time for anything, whether it's coaching, whether it's home remodeling, people have money that they want to either spend at the end of the year or they want to spend because of uh, tax purposes or winners coming up, they make sure they spend before the, uh, the holiday season. Start putting things in line and understand your business, the metrics. Put it all on a piece of paper. Make sure you're able to see what's working, what's not. Number two, are you even on the right path? You see, I get really depressed if I am not on the right path. If the business is making money, that's great. But if I'm not on the right path, that if we're not on a trajectory of, okay, once we hit here, we're gonna go here. And once we hit here, we're gonna go there. If I don't have that in my head, or if I don't see that, I get really, really depressed. And I have to make sure that we're gonna be on the right path because a person just doing something over and over and over, it's gonna just get them in circles and they're just gonna have a business that's probably gonna do okay, but never great. And I see it all the time and I've worked with companies and I see how they just get in this routine of okay, we're gonna make this much money and we're happy with this. It's not how I wanna live. And I'm sure if you're starting from the ground up, you don't wanna look for a mediocre life. You wanna find something that's gorgeous, beautiful, and something that you really, really aspire to be. And you want to have the life that you've always dreamed of. So starting from zero is not just building something just to get by. It's building something from the ground up that's gonna last for many, many years, and also give you the lifestyle that you want. So are you on the right path? Make sure you have that clear vision in your head. And I always look at, you know, I look at it daily, if not weekly, monthly. I look at it constantly. But if you do get caught up in the wheel of business, which sometimes, especially in the very beginning stages, you cannot think of five years down the road because things are changing so rapidly. And you're able to you know, take a breath maybe halfway through the year and say, okay, I'm on the right path or I'm not. Let's make these adjustments so we can end the year on a strong note. So write that down. Make sure you are doing things correctly to get you where you wanna go. Number three. People you're with, whether you're dating someone, whether you're married to someone, whether you have the people on your team, all these people in your life, the right fit, all right? And if not, why aren't they? Is it you? Could be you. And if it's not you, it might be them. Find out exactly who is a great fit to your life. You know, they always say, and I hear this all the time, the average you know, of the five people you're with you're gonna become that. And if there's five rich people in the room and you're with them, you become the sixth. Well, I really, really believe that your network is super important. So make sure, are you with the right people? Are people dragging you down? If not, are you dragging the company down or your relationship down? 
analyze where you're at with the people that are around you and make sure that you're able to figure out a way to fix it. Number four is your team. Are they happy? Analyze maybe your accountant, your lawyers, your, your, the people that you're working with on a daily basis, even though your partners. This is a little bit different rather than what's working for you and what's working for the grand vision. This is working, what's working for them. Are they happy? Analyze exactly what's going on with them and to see if there's anything that you can do to make a change. So it's really about, yes, the business and where you're going and understanding all the directions of your life but also what's happening with the people around you. Is there anything that you're doing that's bad that you can help them with their lives? The reason why is because we are magnets and if you are not helping someone get to where they wanna go, you're distracting them. And so you have to make sure that you're able to help them get to where they want to go also. Number five is your body. I think you have to analyze your body. Are you eating right? Are you exercising right? Do you have enough time to get the rest? Do you have whatever you're doing to take care of yourself? Entrepreneurship is such a long game. If you are doing this for many, many years, it's gonna take a toll on you, you know, mentally, physically, financially. And yeah, you have to analyze your finances and everything when it comes to business, but you have to do a, uh, a, a look into your body or look at yourself and say, yes, I could, I could do this differently. I can, I can eat this. I can start to get on a better schedule. I can go to the gym. Most of your wealth, if you're starting from your zero, it's not gonna happen until 45 or 50, but you have to get going now. And so you wanna enjoy life when you're 45, 50, 55 years old. You wanna have a body that you can, you know, get around and do things. And, and I've seen it with my mom and her body obviously is, is shutting down at 65 years old and has the MS and, and I really, really put in my head that, hey, I gotta take care of my body as much as I possibly can because I wanna enjoy the wealth and the riches when I do make it there 45 or 50 and I can really, really enjoy the total freedom. But this is the fun part. We're building something from the ground up. I mean, we just, you know, we're a six figure business. From the ground up, you know how incredible that is? So what you're doing right now, it might take 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Make sure you take care of your body. Put down what you're eating, how often you're working out, how much sleep you're getting. Analyze all that because come 2019, the next year, you wanna hit the ground running. Don't analyze when it's too late. Start now, put it all out there, and make adjustments. Come six months from now, you're good to go. More questions, any things that you guys have out there that you would like for me to answer, please comment down below. I'll get back to you. And my name is Mike Fallett. I own Dream Starters University, and I started from zero. Hey, thanks so much for watching everyone. If you got anything from it, please like it and share it. Uh, for more tips and advice on branding, marketing, entrepreneurship, or for anyone who's looking to build it from the ground up, stay tuned for more.